Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. In this video we will be running through the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 27th of January. But just a friendly reminder to access any of the updates included in this video, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 22 career mode with the downloaded latest squads. So firstly, there were a few new updated transfers in the latest squad update, including real face central midfielder Tommy Doyle to Cardiff. Career mode favourite real face centre back Retsos has moved to Serie A with Hellas Verona. Swiss centre back Comer has moved to Valencia. Yusuf Yaziki has swapped Lille for CSK in Moscow. And finally, former career mode favourite real face Patrick Roberts has moved to Sunderland. There were also several new high potential players added in the latest squad update, including Dini Poti from Bergamo Calcio, he's a centre forward or right winger, 17 years of age, overall of 60, potential of 80. Fazzini from Empoli who can play central midfield or central attacking midfield, 61 overall, potential of 81. Mampassi from Lokomotiv Moscow, centre back, 66 overall, potential of 81. Elmaz from Galatasaray, central defensive midfield, 18 years of age, 62 overall, potential of 81. Di Stan from Trabzonspor, striker, 19 years of age, 66 overall, potential of 82. And finally, Yeras Sor from Slavia Prague, right winger, 20 years of age, overall of 71, potential of 82. Finally, we'll look at some rating changes for some career mode favourites. Kicking off with Chicago Fire goalkeeper Gabriel Slanina, he's had a plus 3 potential upgrade to 82. Next up, one of the best generic faces in FIFA 21 and in FIFA 22, Dynamo Kiev centre back Ilya Zabani, plus 1 overall to 73, plus 1 potential up to 83. Shakhtar Donetsk left midfielder Mikhailo Mudrik, he's had a plus 2 overall to 72, his potential remains the same at 83. Man United left midfielder Anthony Alanga, he's had a plus one overall to 68 and a plus one potential to 84. Southampton right back Tino Livramento, he's had a plus two overall to 71, his potential stays the same at 85. Athletic club Bilbao striker Sanchez, he's had a plus two overall to 75 and a plus two potential up to 85. Stoya Bucharest winger Octavan Popescu, he's had a plus one potential upgrade to 85. Porto striker Ava Nielsen, he's had a plus one overall to 75 and a plus one potential up to 85. Arsenal's teenage central midfielder Charlie Patino, he's had a plus two overall to 64, his potential stays the same at 85. Man City winger Cole Palmer is now an exciting prospect, plus one overall to 67, plus one potential up to 86. Fulham's exciting prospect central attacking midfielder Fabio Carvalho, he's had a plus one overall increase to 71, his potential stays the same at 86. Career mode favourite Karim Adeyemi from RB Salzburg has had a plus one overall upgrade to 74, his potential remains the same, exciting prospect 86. Porto's exciting prospect central attacking midfielder Fabio Vieira has had a plus one overall upgrade to 73. Another new exciting prospect is Monaco left midfielder Safane Diop, who's had a plus one potential upgrade to 86. Another new exciting prospect is the Nice striker Amin Giori, who's had a plus one potential upgrade to 86. Porto's exciting prospect goalkeeper Diogo Costa has had a plus one overall upgrade to 77, his potential remains the same at 86. Another new exciting prospect is the Empoli central midfielder Samuel Ritchie. He's had a plus one overall to 71 and a plus one potential up to 86. But the biggest upgrade this week goes to Porto's real face midfielder Vitinha. He's had a plus three overall to 74 and a plus two potential up to an exciting prospect 86. Staying in Portugal with the Benfica centre back Morato, who's had a plus one overall upgrade to 74. His potential stays the same at 86. Arsenal left midfielder Emil Smith Rowe has had a plus one overall to 79, his potential stays the same at 87. Another new exciting prospect is Chelsea striker on loan at Southampton, Armando Brozier, who's had a plus two overall to 73 and a plus two potential up to 87. West Ham and England central midfielder Declan Rice has had a plus one overall to 83 and a plus one potential up to 88. 
The penultimate rating change this week is Ajax's Brazilian winger Anthony, who's at a plus one overall to 82. His potential stays the same at 89. And finally for this week's squad update is another Brazilian winger, Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr, who no longer has potential to be special, he's back down to an exciting prospect, following in minus one potential downgrade to 90. So those were the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 27th of January. Just a reminder to access any of the new features, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 22 career mode with the downloaded latest squads. Thank you so much for watching this video, please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.